What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'll help you better understand how Airbnb rental arbitrage works. And then I'm going to go over three risks associated with this business model. What's going on guys? My name is Robert. In today's video, I aim to give you guys the highest level of value. If you are looking to get into making real estate income, or if you're just here to learn something, stick around because I guarantee you, you'll learn at least one thing today. The first thing I'm going to bring up in this video is understanding the term arbitrage. Arbitrage is defined as the practice of taking advantage of a price difference between two or more markets and profiting from the imbalance. The two markets we're looking at today are traditional rental real estate. You guys already know what that is. You guys should be familiar with what that is and home sharing online websites such as Airbnb and VRBO. You are acquiring your property for a certain price and you're renting it out on home sharing websites for a higher price. You can profit from this market imbalance in any location across the states. I know I've given examples in the past for my videos going over the prices that you know I work with here, but you guys can implement this concept anywhere you're at in the world as long as you have access to Airbnb or VRBO or any other home sharing website and you have access to a rental similar to the one I'm in right now. The way that you figure out the ratio for profit is take the monthly rent or the monthly expense for that property and divide it by 30 days because there are 30 days in the month. So theoretically speaking, let's say rent is $2,000 a month wherever you're at, and this is including all taxes and all expenses. Let's just say you're spending $2,000 a month on this property. You divide that by 30 and you end up with $67 a night. That is what it costs you to get in there and have access to this property. With home sharing websites, you can now go in there, acquire the property for $67 a night and list it on a website for $200 a night up to $300 a night, depending on the area you're in. The formula is really simple here and I really wanted to get that message across to you guys. You're pretty much flipping the night, the same way that you would flip an item from a wholesaler to your own e-commerce website on Shopify or you flip it from a wholesaler in China to an Amazon store. The exact same concept can be applied here, except for now you are in real estate. For those of you who've seen my videos and you don't think that you can apply the same business model to your location, that's completely not true. You just have to look at your market average because every location now has this fluctuating market average of what the average nightly rate is. Figure that nightly rate out and see if you could profit by doing this yourself. So now that you guys have a better understanding of what Airbnb arbitrage is and rental arbitrage is, I want to go over some risks associated with this business model. Risks are very important to look at when starting any business model and that's so you know what to expect if everything doesn't work out the way you anticipated or the way that you planned. The first risk I wanna bring up is changing market conditions. As you guys all know, real estate is a market as a whole and it moves up and down in price. And this could really affect the way that your short-term rental business is going. The way this can negatively impact your business is maybe something shifts in the market and you are now not getting as many bookings throughout the month and you can't cover expenses and you're stuck with a loss at the end of the month. The second risk associated with this business model are the local regulations. These can really come down and crack hard on the business model and totally take you out of business. So if you're heavily invested with lease agreements and you've put a lot of money into furniture, all that stuff, this can really hurt you. I made a video talking about how Los Angeles banned short-term rentals in apartment buildings. So local regulations can really come down to hurt you, especially because most places are just now getting accustomed to the way this business model is affecting their city and their community. So therefore, this is something that will develop within the next five years. We will know more about where cities and city councils stand as far as regulations. Lastly, you have to be aware of unexpected events that could happen. So if you're on the coast somewhere and you're doing rental arbitrage and you have a lease agreement and all of a sudden a hurricane comes and takes everything out, you have to consider that you have rent to pay in an area that probably will no longer be bringing guests by. Same goes for anywhere else. I mean, you don't know what will happen that will cause you to go in the red. The biggest issue associated with this is losing money on a month to month basis for absolutely no reason, just because your market, something shifted in the market or an unexpected event happened and your area is no longer booking consistently how it was before. One more thing I must mention is the saturation of these local markets. This is one thing I've observed here. The more listings in your area, the higher the chance of you not booking as much. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you guys can understand that. Overall, the main point of this video was just educating you guys on what the term arbitrage means and what exactly it means when it comes to Airbnb. It's obviously taking the profit between the price and balance in two different markets. If you can understand that, you'll have a high chance of success. So guys, that is it for today. Thank you for staying tuned. Go out there, find your properties, 
do what it takes to make that money. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Really quickly, I wanna hear from you guys. What's the main thing that appeals to you in this business model? Just leave that comment down below. I'd love to hear more from this community and see what you guys have to say about that. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. I'll be making more videos like this and I'll see you guys all next time.